you have found 39 million leaked secrets in 2024. Don't let yours be next. Hey developers, welcome to GitHub Checkout, your inside look at the latest GitHub features and updates that level up your workflows. I'm Andrea Griffiths, Senior Developer Advocate. Today, we're here to protect you. We're diving deep into the new GitHub security features with Senior Product Manager for GitHub Security, Erin Havens. Welcome, Erin. Thank you for being here. Tell us, what is new in GitHub Advanced Security? We've been introducing new ways to adopt our security tools based on what we've learned recently from thousands of organizations over the past few years. These changes help lower barriers for teams to adopt and afford our tooling, ensuring it's no longer out of reach for many organizations. So first, GitHub Advanced Security is now available as standalone products. GitHub Secret Protection includes features like push protection, which we see here, which stops leaks before they happen. In addition, we also have a code security, which includes features which identify and remediate vulnerabilities before they reach production, like Copilot Autofix, which I'll quickly demo for us here. Copilot Autofix can be run directly from the alert page, like in this example. It can also be run in bulk from security campaigns, in addition to being run from within pull requests where they're annotated directly in a PR. So here's an example of Autofix providing a great head start for our fix for this vulnerability. Each product is also licensed individually and can be scoped per repository. So billing for team customers is usage based. Um, so that means you can enable it for the repositories that you want and you're only charged for active committers um, on those repositories. So it's pay as you go, it's a meter. Um, enterprise customers with dedicated account teams can also purchase subscription based or contractual plans where you buy an upfront number of seats that you want with the account team. We want our products to be accessible to organizations of all sizes so security can scale with you. If you'd like to learn more about deploying secret protection at scale, you can check out a video that my colleague Chris Reddington just created to help you get started. Well, what if I'm not part of an enterprise plan? How can I access this? Previously, we had smaller development teams that had to weigh the cost of upgrading to GitHub Enterprise just to purchase our security tools. But as of this week, GitHub team organizations can actually purchase our products directly. So you can purchase in one click from the security tab instead of having to upgrade to an enterprise plan. And here's an example of purchasing from the security tab so I can enable secret protection in one click or configure in settings from a security configuration. So for example, here I'm creating a configuration to enable secret protection. And then I can go ahead and apply this to all of the repositories in my org or target specific repositories that I would like to protect. So here's an example. I am saving the configuration now, and now I'll go back to that configuration and apply it to the repositories that I want. What if you're not sure if you need secret scanning? Where can you start? This week, we've actually released our new point in time scan for exposed secrets. So in under three days since launch, this feature has already detected over a million exposed secrets across hundreds of thousands of user repos. It gives us great insights about the secret leaks found across your organization. So your GitHub perimeter, like um, number of secrets, what kinds of secrets, if you have any publicly leaked secrets that are visible from your public repositories, and some of these other insights that we see here. We also share a notification when the report is complete so that you can navigate back to it and you have some additional options once it is complete, like downloading as a CSV so you can discuss it with your team. And when you're ready, you can enable for all public repositories for free. Or if you would like, you can also enable secret protection and purchase it for your organization on one click. If you're a GitHub team or you'll see the estimated monthly costs like we see here. If you're interested in learning more about secret leaks or how to deploy it at scale, my colleague Chris Reddington just made a couple very quick videos, which I recommend checking out. Thank you for that, Erin. We'll be sure to link those details in the notes so folks can take a look at them. Is there anything else you'd like to leave us with? These changes are all about making security accessible by default to every developer. So it's no longer locked behind enterprise tiers. And the shift is really about reducing friction, making security affordable, and helping teams of all sizes identify and fix real risks, and also prevent issues before they happen with features like push protection. Thank you, Eric, for coming by and showing us what's new in GitHub Advanced Security. Totally, yeah. Thanks so much for having me. And that was your first look at GitHub Secret Protection. 
Let me know in the comments, have you enabled this for your organization? Has it saved you yet? And if you found this useful, please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so you never miss any future updates and dev tips. Push those changes to main and we'll catch you in the next release.